Good morning, Hollands. My name is Michael, and today is Monday, February 28th. And before we get started, the teachers and staff want to reach out to any and all students who have been impacted by the war that has broken out in Eastern Europe. They are talking about Ukraine. If you, or your, if you or your family has been impacted, or you need to talk about your feelings, or this war has brought up memories of another event that has impacted your family, please do not hesitate to reach out to any staff member or your counselor. They are here for you no matter what. Just because something is happening across the world does not mean it can't be affecting us right here at home. And now here is your Scotty News. I'd like to introduce to you Mrs. Yahiawi, who will tell us about an influential black American woman. Hi, I'm Mrs. Yahiawi and I teach science, sixth grade, go science, at um, Highlands here. And I want to celebrate a woman who accomplished so much in her um, quite short lifetime. Um, her name is Madam C.J. Walker. She um, was a woman that was born in 1867. So she was, she lived a long time ago and she died in 1919. And Madam Walker made her fortune by developing and marketing a line of cosmetics and hair care products for black women through the business she founded, and that business was called Madam C.J. Walker Manufacturing Company. She became known also for her philanthropy. Do you know what philanthropy means? It means um, doing kind things for others. And she was also an activist. She made financial donations to numerous organizations, and she became a patron of the arts. Via Lawaro, Walker's lavish estate in New York, served as a social gathering place for the African American community. At the time of her death in 1919, she was considered, are you, are you ready for it? She was considered the wealthiest African American businesswoman and the wealthiest self made black woman in the United States. Her version was a, her name was a version of Mrs. Charles Joseph Walker after her third husband, sorry. Um, so here is an actual photograph of um, Madam C.J. Walker. And this is, I would like to recommend, a movie that I watched on Netflix. It's called Self Made, and it is C, Madam C.J. Walker's story. Um, she was an amazing woman, um, and she inspired me to be more proud of myself, um, even though I'm not a black woman, but she instilled inspiration into women, um, especially um, at, during her time. And here is a quote that I want to uh, read to you. These were words that Madam C.J. Walker lived by every day. Don't sit down and wait for opportunities to come to you. Get up and make them. So, Madam C.J. Walker, you are my hero. Have you ordered your yearbook yet? It's only $25, and there are only a few left, so buy yours today. After school today, be sure to go to the 8th grade hall to purchase slushies and meat sticks. Slushies are only $1 for a small, or $1.50 for a large. PBIS stores are open. What is the best thing that you have purchased with your points? Keep doing the right thing and earning those points. Tons of stores are available to you. Check them out today. Today is the last day of Black History Month, but we do hope you learned about a part of our country's history, that you don't see that U.S. history is divided into different parts, races, and ethnicities. We are one country with one history. We want to leave you with a, with a quote from Maya Angelou. Wouldn't it be wonderful when black history and Native American history and Jewish history and all of U.S. history is taught from one book, just U.S. history? And for your video of the day, we leave you with some of the top movies for you and your family to watch to learn even more about black American influence on our country.
reporting Scuddy News. Gracias por ver a Scuddy News.